And may I say an amazing thank you to new president of Westchester Jewish Council, Bill Schrag. <laughs> Elliot Forshammer, to all of the staff, to all of the organizations, to everyone who's here, to Rabbi Lookstein, to Rabbi Fink, who pushed me from the Young Israel of New Rochelle. And I want to thank the members of the New Rochelle Police Department. Thank you. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for keeping us safe. May God protect you. Thank you to our security personnel, to the members of CSS. Thank you. Last summer, Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the year in the Jewish calendar. We had been through months of COVID, of being shut down. And I wanted to create an experience whereby individuals who hadn't had the chance to have a live service could have a live service, a reading of Megillat Echa, the book of Lamentations, on Tisha B'Av night. And we had a drive-in service in the parking lot right here in the JCC. A big thank you to the JCC. And I was getting calls from people, texts, we could hear you down the block. And I was thinking how proud we are, we were, to be living here unafraid to be who we are, to stand up for what we represent. And we read the words that are chanted each year in a mournful tone. Echa yashvavada. Ha'ira batiyam, ha'ita ki almana. How could it be that we sit alone? A city representing a people, the city of Jerusalem, representing the greatness of a wonderful people with an incredible tradition. Ha'ita ki almana. We felt like widows, like widowers. My friends, we, the American Jewish community, feel alone. We're afraid to openly show our Jewishness. We're afraid to voice or show support for the one and only Jewish state. If we do that, we feel alone, Badad, abandoned and isolated. When a nationally appointed government representative sadly says, I think you should Think twice, a representative of the Jewish community. I think you should think twice about wearing a kippah. Worry about your safety, pikuach nefesh. If that's the case, then we feel alone. When a 20-something-year-old Jew gets beaten up in the middle of New York City, his crime, A, he was Jewish. B, he was going to a rally in support of Israel. When that happens, my friends, we feel alone. When we think about murders that took place in Pittsburgh, in Poway, in Muncie, in Newark, right before the pandemic, oh, it'll all go away after the pandemic, then it rears its ugly head once again. Haitaka almana, we feel like widows and widowers. The book of Echa marks the destruction of our temples in Jerusalem. But not just that, it laments the disastrous consequences of that loss of Jewish sovereignty the two millennia of countless exiles and persecutions, blood libels and, libels and pogroms, culminating in the Holocaust that were the direct results of that loss of a homeland. And in one of Jewish history's greatest ironies, as was mentioned earlier, it was a secular Jew from Vienna who recognized this seemingly irreparable societal virus. Thank you, Shachar called anti-Semitism. And he said that if the world won't accept us and won't stop hating us, we need our own place in this world that we can call our home once again. And the modern state of Israel was born in the hopes that it would inoculate the world from this vicious virus of anti-Semitism. Yet instead, the world just channeled all of its venom, all of its hatred on the Jewish state, the one address 
that could represent all of the Jewish people from their point of view. First it was Europe, and now here we are watching it all play out in America, in our streets and our cities, in our elected officials, none here, thank God, in our communities and cities. Well, as a proud American Jew, as a grandchild of Holocaust survivors on both sides, from Treblinka to Auschwitz to Bergen-Belsen, I say to you, not never again, but not here, not now. Not here, not now. Not in this country, not in this county, not in this city, not in this state, not anywhere. Not in these streets, in these cities. We're not living in Paris. We're not living in a no-go zone of London. We will not remove our yarmulkes or our mugging davids or our Israeli flags. We will wear them loudly and proudly. We will display them. And as the noted journalist Barry Weiss said, we will not be anti-anti-Semitism. That will not define us. We will combat the hate with pride in who we are as Jews as lovers and supporters of Israel, as upholders of our traditions, of our Torah, and as proud Americans. We will not be alone because we stand together, united, Jews and non-Jews, people of all faiths and ethnicities. We thank you for being here with us, with spirit and conviction, proclaiming to the world the three words, Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael Chai. The Jewish people and the Jewish state are alive and well now and forever. And the next time we come to this parking lot, God willing, we won't be reading a mournful tune. We won't be reading the book of Eicha. We won't be rallying today in support of being Jewish. We will be rejoicing as we see the vitality of our great people of our great country, and we see, God willing, Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Amo Yisrael. Peace upon us, upon all of humanity, and upon all of Israel. Amen.